How you doing? Justin here. Today we are checking out Road Trippin' by the Red Hot Chili Peppers, of course, featuring the ever-awesome John Frusciante on acoustic guitar. Now, this is a kind of a funny tune for me, because I've been playing it wrong for about 20 years, and it was only really in prepping for this lesson that I unearthed the little secret there of the main riff, and I'd always been playing it with the continuous bass note thing. I thought that was what was going on, but it appears that it, that was the, the bass, because the bass is really driving pretty hard in this song, and it kind of gives the impression that 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 uh, the acoustic guitar is doing that bass movement, but I managed to catch a glimpse of uh, John playing it in an interview, and it was quite clearly the bass is doing these little ding, 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 which is just a really nice, uh, very clever. He always he manages to continually astound me with his genius, does Mr. Frusciante. It's uh, just little subtle things, but they're very clever. So. The actual chord part for the main riff, very, very simple. We're just going to have our first finger on the second fret of the fourth string. And little finger, I usually use little finger there on the, you could use third finger, uh, little finger on the third fret of the thinner string. But it's really all about the pattern, so I think that's going to be a lot easier to talk about in a close-up. So get that first finger, second fret on the fourth string, little finger on the third fret of the thinnest string, and then let's get to this close-up and check out the finger-picking pattern. Okay, that's the riff. Now, uh, let's start off with that very first chord. So your first finger should be on the second fret of the fourth string and a little finger on the third fret of the thinner string. Now what's going on here, the thumb is going to be playing only the fourth string. First finger is going to be playing the second string and the middle finger is going to be playing the thinner string. So they're the only three that we're talking about at the moment. Thumb, first finger, and second finger. First finger always playing string two, middle finger always playing the thinner string, okay? Now the pattern, uh, it's kind of really one bar, but I'm breaking it down into two bars to make the count a little simpler. And the first half of it, we're gonna do one bar at a time, will be this, one, two, three, and four. Okay, so one with the thumb, two with the middle finger on the thinner string, then thumb, one, thumb. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Okay, it might be worth writing that down. These sort of finger style patterns are generally a lot easier to have written out in front of you. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three and four. Okay, the second bar is one, two, and three, and four. So on beat one, we're actually starting with the middle finger playing the thinner string. Then on beat two, thumb. The and after, we'll be playing the second string. Then thumb, thin, thumb. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. Thinner string, fourth string, second string, fourth string, thinner string, back to the fourth string. Now when we put those two together, now nice and slow. One, two, three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, Thank you. 
It's just practice these things, really doing it slowly, slowly, slowly over and over again and making, getting the mechanics right so your brain knows exactly what signals to send out when is the trick. So just practice her on that first chord. <laughs> Now the second one is exactly the same, so now we move first finger over to the third fret of the fifth string, little finger on the fifth fret of the second string, and all of that pattern that we had playing the fourth string, second string, and first string is going to move up one string, okay, one string thicker. So thumb will now be on the fifth string, first finger will now be playing the third string, the G string, and the middle finger will now be playing the second string, and the pattern stays the same. So now we've got that pattern on the first chord. And then we move the shape over first finger to the third fret of the fifth string, little finger in the fifth fret of the second string, all of the picking hand fingers moving down, same pattern. But note that now we move that shape backwards one fret, so first finger's now in the second fret, little finger's now in the fourth fret. We're gonna start that one with the ring finger playing the second string, because the pattern is the same. Okay, so ring, thumb, one, thumb, ring, thumb. First chord, whole pattern. C. One thing that you'll probably notice sometimes is there's a little variation as well. So sometimes John is moving little finger up a couple of frets, up to the fifth fret. Okay, so same pattern again. But when we do that, we're just moving little finger up two frets to the fifth fret. Obviously we're using our birdie finger, the driving finger, up there. We're going to be playing that one an extra time. So just thumb, ring, thumb, ring again. Pattern continues the same. Okay, now where things get a little bit interesting is changing over to the next section. So that's what I call the A section. The B section, um, chords are relatively simple. It would be an A minor chord. G with a B bass, okay, G with a B bass being second finger on the second fret of the fifth string, little finger on the third fret of the second string, middle two strings open, not playing the thinnest string. C chord, but you probably, if you were going to do it the same as the record, you want to be using a C bar chord with the third finger doing the little mini bar at the fifth fret, uh, third fret, fifth string root. And now we've got a G with a D bass, which confusingly looks like a D chord on the wrong fret. So with your first finger in the seventh fret, but it's a D chord shape, and with the open D string, the fourth string ringing out. Now, uh, the first three bars, so the A minor, the G with a B bass, and the C, are doing a very similar pattern, but what's really important is that the thumb is doing this even eighth notes, so one, two, three, four, well, even eighth notes, but I'm counting things uh, in uh, with a double time, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, except on the D, where thumb is, it's still doing four picks, but it's moving between the open D and the seventh fret of the fifth string. We'll talk about that one in a second. So the A minor, Okay, we've got, with the very first pick, we're going to use our uh, middle finger to play the second string, then thumb, pick the, the third string out with the first finger, thumb, ring finger, we'll play the thinnest string. In between again. One, two, and three, and four. This is just the A minor. Two, and three, and four. 
one, two, and three, and four. Again, this is a great way of learning these sort of patterns. It's just to do it over and over again on that one chord. You're gonna find it very handy, as you're gonna find out in a sec. Okay, that's the pattern. So thumb and middle together. Thumb, one, thumb, ring, thumb. Then go to the G with the B bass chord. Almost the same, except now we're just using the middle finger, first finger, uh, middle finger again. One, two, and three, and four. 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 And then C, same pattern. Thumb and middle together. Thumb, one, thumb, middle, thumb. So that, those three bars, one, two, and three, and four, one, two, and three, and four, one, two, and three, and four. Now we've got this, okay, which is thumb, and thumb is now moved over to the fourth string, and the middle finger is going to be playing the thinner string, first finger will play the second string, and then thumb will play the third string. Okay. Then we've got uh, little, uh, sorry, middle finger playing the thinner string, thumb playing the fourth string, first finger playing the second string, and thumb playing the third string. It's a very nice pattern. We're going to do a close up of the finger style hand again in a second as well, because I know this might be a little confusing in the wide. But we had to cover the chords as well. Okay, so let's do that whole section through a couple of times and I'll do a close-up of that finger style pattern just uh, if you're finding any of that confusing. And we're definitely going to need it for the next section as well. So A minor. G with a B bass. C. G with a D. And again. Lovely, lovely little progression this. Now Now, I just thought before I go into uh, the close-up of the finger style, I'll go through the chords for the bridge as well, because the chords in the bridge uh, need a little bit of explaining. So a basic sequence we've got here is an a, uh, E minor, okay, 7th fret, 5th string root, 7, 9, 9, 8. It's an E minor. Then we've got an A7. I must say, normally I just play it as an A, but... Uh, Probably the sound of an A7 there, fifth string, six, uh, sixth string, fifth fret root. Then C. Okay, again the uh, third fret, uh, fifth string root. And then we've got an F sharp. Uh, sorry, it goes to D the first time. The second time, E minor, A, C, F sharp. Diminished seven. Fourth fret, fifth fret, fourth fret, fifth fret. Okay, an important chord, this one, the diminished chord. So the, that's all of the chords. The sequence, E minor, A or A7, C, D, E minor, A, C, F sharp diminished seven. E minor, A, C, D, E minor, A7, C, F sharp, we've got this cool little ending going on there as well. Now that ending 
Uh, I'll ex again, I'm going to be talking about this finger style pattern for this whole section and the last in a close up in a sec, but that very last little bit. Okay, now diminished chords have got this really cool quality in that when they move by three fret uh, steps, the notes remain the same, they just appear under different fingers. Now, uh, I'll leave you to try that out for yourself and Im improve your knowledge of the notes on the fingerboard, but the, basically this chord here with the first finger in the 11th fret, if first finger's in the 10th fret, 7th fret, 4th fret, or 1st fret, it's actually all the same notes. So each one of those chords has an E flat, an A, a C, and an F sharp in it. Okay, so let's, let's go through it, why not, for the fun. E flat, A, C, F sharp, move it up 3 frets, F sharp, C, uh, E flat, A, move it up 3 frets, A, E flat, F sharp, C, move it up three frets, C, F sharp, A, E flat, and then we're up an octave, uh, D sharp, or E flat, A, C, and F sharp. So one thing you'll probably have to work on is jumping that chord back in these three fret blocks. So 13th fret, 10th fret, 7, 4, 1. Again, 13, 10, 7, 4, 1. a little bit of practice on that so that you know how they're stepping because in the in the heat of the moment in that song you might find that a little bit sticky so uh, let's get to a close-up and riff three has a few sticky moments in it uh, the basic idea is thumbs going to be alternating between the root note of the chord and the next string down toward the ground okay like one two three four one two three but then we're also going to be picking some notes out as well. And the patterns are slightly different depending on the chord. Now, the very first chord E minor has probably got the hardest one, really. It's this. Real slow. Okay, so that's thumb playing the fifth string, uh, middle finger playing the second string, first finger playing the third string, thumb playing the fourth string, first finger playing the third string again, thumb playing the fifth string, middle finger playing the second string, and then thumb playing the fourth string, okay? Again, these sort of patterns, like this. That's, if you want to practice it, that's the trick. That slowly or slower. Trying to keep the rhythm even and get that pattern under your fingers. If you can't do it slowly, you're never going to be able to do it at full speed. Never. Okay, doing what I'm doing now, it's kind of tricky to tell the truth. Talking and doing a pattern like this. I'm surprised I haven't mucked it up yet. But pra practice it over and again. Yeah. Made one mistake there. Tricky one to sing and play over this. Okay, but that's definitely the trick. It's just holding that chord down, practicing the pattern over and over again. Okay, so that's the pattern each time we're on the A minor. On the A7, a bit simpler. Thumb playing the bass note of the chord, which in this case for the A will be the thicker string. Middle finger will play the third string. Thumb plays the fifth string. First finger plays the next string, which is the fourth string. Thumb plays the bass string, ring, uh, middle finger plays the uh, fourth string, sorry, the third string, and then thumb plays again the fifth string. that for most of the rest of the the progression actually so the E minor is different A what I just showed you same pattern on the C okay so now we've got the thumb playing the fifth string because it's a fifth string root bar chord but it's the same thumb and middle thumb one thumb second finger thumb then to D same pattern new one on the E 
not the new one, the usual one for the E minor. A, C, then F sharp. Same pattern again. Okay, but now we're on the thinnest four strings. Okay, then light up. Third time, C, D, last time, E minor, A, C. Okay, now we've got, we're back to continuous notes on the F sharp note there with the thumb. Okay, now I'm doing like an up brush with the second finger from, from the thinner string on beat one. On the and after two, I'm using my first finger starting from the second string for a brush up. One, two, and three, four, one, and two, three. That's the pattern. So I'm doing from the thinner string, second string, thinner string, second string. One, two, and three, four, one, and two, three. One, two, and three, four, one, and two, three. One, two, and three, four, one, and two, three. Okay? Then we've got our little uh, diminished rundown. So we're just going to be playing thumb with, and then a little up brush. I'm using my first finger there, but you could use whatever finger you want really for it's just a brush up. So. Okay. Slide there up right up to the 13th fret. So thumb, finger. Actually, it might be thumb, one, thumb at the, at the end. play that bridge through uh, one more time just kind of medium speed so you can see how it all fits together. A, C, D, E minor, A, C, F sharp, I suspect many of you will find at least a couple of sticky moments there in the fingerstyle patterns. They can be a little bit awkward, but uh, the, the trick with those things always is just to do them real slowly and over and over again, because usually when you're playing a tune like this, there's enough stuff going on that, that you can't really be thinking about the fingerstyle patterns. You have to do them just slowly, carefully, over and over until you get them right. You know, for me, this one was a little bit challenging because I'd been playing the riff one, the main riff, wrongly for quite some time, you know, and to, to relearn it and, and kind of unprogram it and reprogram it again was a little bit uh, tricky, but uh, it's a wonderful tune, a really nice uh, party sing-along as well. So I really hope you enjoy playing it. Do remember there's uh, well, a thousand free lessons over on the website, so go and check it out. It's all easily categorized, and you'll be able to find, say, all of the Chili Pepper songs all together, etc. So hope you dig on all of that and you enjoyed this lesson. I'll see you for plenty more very soon. You take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.